dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, the Holy Church universally celebrates the Sunday of All Saints. Every Orthodox Church, no matter which nationality, no matter which country they are in, everyone today celebrates the Feast of All Saints. This should immediately tell us something. If this is a universal feast, there must be something special, something important, something that we need to learn from this. Well, first of all, why this Sunday? Why not next Sunday? Why not the last Sunday of September? Today is the Sunday after Pentecost. On Pentecost, we glorify God, the Holy Trinity. On All Saints Sunday, we glorify those who on earth glorify God, the Holy Trinity. You see, this is a reflection of last Sunday's feast. Last Sunday, Trinity Sunday, this Sunday, the Feast of All Saints. And if we listen carefully last night to the service as it was sung in red, or if we read this ourselves, we will see that this is very much a feast of the martyrs. It's not exclusively a feast of the martyrs, but mostly it is a feast of the martyrs. And that's why we are wearing red, although Lent doesn't begin until tomorrow. We wear red today for the sake of this feast, the Feast of All Saints, which is basically a feast of the martyrs. The Lord today spoke to us in the Gospel about what it means to be a saint. And this is really important for us, because we live in a very materially wealthy society. In fact, we can say without exaggerating that such a society of wealth has never existed on the face of the earth in history. We are the richest, and for this we should be proud and we should sit down and do nothing. Of course not. But we have to be very careful of this temptation, because when you get fat and rich, tend to get lazy. This, these two things go together. We may say many things about the saints. They come from all walks of life, from kings to beggars, to craftsmen, to farmers, to every possible profession and more. But one thing we can say about these saints, brothers and sisters, they were not lazy. They might have been slow. They might have been even mentally weak, but they were not lazy. They took what God gave them, and they put it to use for His glory and for their salvation. Each of us is given by God some gifts, some talents, some abilities. That runs the gamut from being an outstanding digger of ditches, which is very important. You don't think about ditch diggers till it rains, but in rains you realize how important they are to astronauts, to doctors, to teachers, to whatever. Everyone has their ability that the Lord has given them. Maybe it's languages, maybe you can sing. But all of the saints, brothers and sisters, took what they were given and used it for God's glory. And for us, we really have to reflect and think, are we doing this? Are we taking the skills, the talents, the gifts that God has given us, and are we diligent? Not being lazy, kind of doing it once in a while when we feel like it and there's nothing else to do, but diligently putting those talents to use. We hear in today's gospel about how we have to give we have to renounce parents and brothers and sisters and wives and children and fields and everything. And we all say, well, I can't do that. That's above my ability. I can't be renouncing those kind of things. I'm living in the world, and these things all matter to me. But see, we hear it wrong. That's actually not what it says. It doesn't say you have to get rid of all those things. It says God has to be first. See, today's gospel, brothers and sisters, is about priorities about putting the right priorities in the right places. This again, now you want, we see why we were talking about how we live in such a rich society. It's very easy for our priorities to get out of whack. The neighbor comes home with another new Porsche, third one in six months. You know, we start to think, I probably need one of those too. I mean, maybe I could live without it, but I probably need one. You know, that's very important to me. Or whatever. Fill in 
the blank with whatever temptation you have, that your neighbor has, or your brother has, or your parents have, or whatever. You see, we use that word have, and we use the word get a lot. Because subconsciously, we begin to buy into the, the narrative of our society, which in a nutshell is whoever dies with the most toys wins. But you see, that's not true. It's not true that whoever dies with the most toys wins. It's whoever dies in Christ will live. That's the narrative that we need to live by, brothers and sisters. Because with God, there is no death. We step into a new life, a pure life, a perfect life. So, brothers and sisters, on this day when we celebrate all saints, when we remember the struggle of the martyrs, when we look to these people, these saints of God, who have attained sanctity in the heavenly kingdom and whom God has glorified on this earth, let's look at our priorities. Let's think about where we are in our lives in setting our priorities straight. God is one. Our neighbor, our friends, our loved ones, even our family is two. We're number three. And I think it's very hard for us to bring ourselves to that point. Maybe for a few minutes, when it works out real well and it's convenient, we can do that. But it's hard for us to persist. But brothers and sisters, that's what the saints did. That's how they attained the heavenly kingdom. They understood that we have to put God first. And if we do that, He will take care of the rest. Brothers and sisters, if we can begin to do that today, if we can make a serious commitment to do that today, if we can make any effort to do that today, then today we also take a great leap, a bound towards the heavenly kingdom along the path of the saints' trial. May the Lord grant this to all of us.